Hi, this is Jason from Modern's Cooking Made Easy. Today, I'm gonna to show you two modern takes on a classic Mexican cocktail, the Paloma. The Paloma is traditionally made using tequila and a grapefruit soda, such as Jaritos or Squirt. It's served on the rocks uh, with a lime wedge. For my modern takes, I'll be replacing the grapefruit soda with some fresh grapefruit juice along with a grapefruit juice foam. I'll be using gelatin to make the foam to take advantage of its good flavor release and texture. In cocktails, it's really good because it just dissolves into the cocktail instead of sitting on top of it the whole time, and we want to mix the grapefruit flavor into it a little bit more. Because I want to ensure that the foam mixes in with the cocktail, I'll be using a 0.9% ratio for the gelatin. That's on the lower end of the spectrum. Since the grapefruit foam has to sit in the refrigerator for an hour or two, I'm going to make that first. It's a simple combination of grapefruit juice, sugar, and gelatin. It can also stay in the refrigerator for several days, so you can make it as far ahead as you want. I'll start with 400 grams of fresh grapefruit juice, then add two gelatin sheets to it. You can also use a half packet of powdered gelatin. Now we need to let the gelatin bloom for five or 10 minutes. The blooming of the gelatin hydrates it so it can fully gel the liquid in order to make the foam out of it. Once the gelatin is bloomed, I'll add 50 grams of sugar and then we need to heat the liquid just enough for the gelatin and sugar to dissolve. I've got it on medium heat here and I'm stirring occasionally just to keep it moving. Once the gelatin and sugar dissolve in the liquid, you want to take it off the heat right away because we don't want to get too much of a cooked flavor to the grapefruit juice. You can also heat the gelatin in just a small amount of juice so the rest of the juice stays raw. However, I haven't found too much of a difference as long as you take it off the heat right away. Now we pour the grapefruit juice into the whipping siphon. Seal it up and charge it full. I'm using a pint siphon, so I want to use two charges. If you're using a quart size, you probably want to use three. Now just give it a few good shakes and then put it in the refrigerator for at least two to three hours and it can actually last in there for several days until you're ready to use it. Once the foam is set and you're ready to serve your drinks, you can begin to assemble them. In addition to the grapefruit foam, we're going to be doing a caramelized grapefruit wedge. But don't worry, if you don't have a torch, you can skip the caramelization stage. Place a few grapefruit wedges on a roasting pan or other non-meltable surface. Coat them with sugar, and then give them a good torching. Like margaritas, Palomas have a salt-covered rim. So take a small plate or wide bowl and fill it with salt. Wet the rim of a glass with a lime or a grapefruit wedge. Dip it into the salt to coat it. Then fill the glass with ice. Take a cocktail shaker, put in a handful of ice and add tequila. grapefruit juice, lime juice, and simple syrup, and shake it for 10 to 15 seconds. Next, combine the tequila mix with club soda in any proportions you want. 
I tend to use two parts tequila mix with one part club soda. My wife prefers about half and half, depending on the day that she's had. Now we add the foam. Give it a shake or two, hold it upside down, gently pull the trigger to dispense it. Top it off with a grapefruit wedge, you're all set. For the other variation, we use the same tequila mix, but we omit the club soda. It results in a more martini-like cocktail. Now you've got two great takes of an old classic for your next get-together. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to contact me, Jason, at Modern's Cooking Made Easy, or through our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Modern's Cooking Made Easy. Thanks a lot, and happy cooking.